Hi there, Toy here, and welcome to another interview. I'm going to be interviewing the author, Jennifer Ervick, today. Hi. <laughs> so, why don't you start out by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm a pastor at um, the Grove Church up in Marysville, Washington. So that's about half an hour north of Seattle. Um, I live in Lake Stevens right near there. Been here all my life. Love Disney. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and a husband and a little dog. And I don't know what else you're interested in. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Um, I've only been near the west coast once when i went to las vegas i've always wanted to go to seattle so i think mm -hmm. that's really cool that that's where you are and i'm all the way on the east coast and we're talking to each other and i think that's awesome i do think that's awesome too and it's funny because tons of people love to go to seattle but living here i feel like i take it for granted you know what i mean i'm like yeah. oh i guess it is a really cool place <laughs> like, but i definitely want to go to the east coast yeah you want to go come here i want to go there you know the grass is always greener but like you said um I, I think i need to appreciate home a little bit more yeah so let's go ahead and dive into some of my questions for today the first thing i want to know I, I i ask all authors this is um what motivated you to start writing so um i've always loved writing um i used to write poems as a little girl um, and then, you know, all the writing classes in high school and stuff, I was the one that would wait till last minute to write and still get the highest grade in the class. It's just what I do. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this particular book, I would think, so I'm 39 years old now. Um, and a lot of my life has been this journey of, I knew I was called to ministry. I don't know what that looks like. And then I fought against it for a while. Um, I was raised in church. I'm not a PK, but I'm what I call myself a GPK. <laughs> a grandpa's pa grand pastor's kid <laughs> I don't know me, me too grand pastor's kid awesome perfect um and so obviously we've seen a lot of you know uh church life and all that and i'm like you know i love god love people ministry ain't for me <laughs> and so um i fought against that for a long time um but then i got credentialed and things like that and um ministry has been the most amazing part of my life probably i mean obviously being married, motherhood, all that. <laughs> when my brother died four years ago, um, and it was very tragic, and that's a whole nother interview. <laughs> okay. But I was like, I felt like this is the time to write my a book because I've always kind of felt that calling to write a book is part of my part of my ministry. And um, anyways, one day I sat down and uh, I was like, you know what? The way you start writing a book is you just start writing it, right? Yeah. So I sit down to write it and. Um, I get this, you know, that little Holy Spirit voice in your head that says, Jen, you already wrote a book. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I know I haven't. Jen, you already wrote a book. Okay, God, you're kind of wackadoodle right now. What are you talking about? And um, he, he just kind of began to speak to my heart that everything I've written over the years, for now, let's compile it, turn it into a devotional so that I can get my voice out there um, so that I can write a book about how to deal with grief about my brother and it will probably be called the day my brother dies and i talk about that a little bit in in my devotional book that is out right now wow that's that's yeah. amazing that yeah. i mean everybody is motivated by something different and i never um i never really considered ministry but it's amazing how your work can affect people in positive ways whether you call it a ministry or not if that's what you're called for right i mean we all have ministry right <laughs> We're all called to ministry. <laughs> so, um, so that, that little, you know, thing that you just shared with us was kind of, you know, what motivated you. Mm -hmm. And I think you kind of hinted on my next question, which, was, which is, you know, um, kind of where the idea for your current project came from. And I think mm -hmm. you did just kind of give us a title of your potential title for your current project. Yes. Yeah, so I have two um, projects going on simultaneously. And it's just funny how God works. Because, yes, I do intend on writing this book um, about my brother. I'm actually partnering with a friend of mine, another fellow um, minister, and she's a counselor. Her name is Ann Hopkins. And um, she lost her only son a few years ago in a tragic accident. And the, so the reason I want to partner with her in this book, obviously, is because she's a counselor. She's got the smarts because <laughs> I want it to actually help people 
And so we are going to start meeting and pulling this project together here um, pretty quickly. But um, I'm also working on another devotional that has to deal with anxiety. And it was another weird God thing because um, like right after my first book just got published, I just kind of wrote down all 30 chapters for another month long devotional on anxiety, like the titles of them. And so now that's kind of in the works and I'm working on that. So um, that might beat the other book. That might beat the book on my brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, I expect think to beat that one, but it just kind of came out. Yeah. I think that's definitely um, a subject and a topic that people um, need to hear about. You know, it's mm -hmm. been, I feel like only recently in years where people have been acknowledging that, you know, yeah. anxiety is a thing and that you can address it, especially mm -hmm. with biblical principles. So yeah. I, I think that's amazing. Yes. All right, so my next question is a little bit off um, the, the, the path of your writing, but sure. I feel like all writers and all artists, all creative people have multiple outlets. Mm -hmm. So my next question is, aside from your ministry, your writing, what else are you passionate about? Um, just as far as creatively, like yeah. creative wise, sure. Um, I've always been a vocalist and I would sing for you right now, but I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> Never they're passing around the office. Um, but I love to sing. Um, and then I also just recently, like within the last three, four ish years discovered, um, a passion for watercolor art. And I'm very, oh. good at it. in fact, in my book, all the art in the book is done by me. Um, nice. so yeah. And I don't know if I can, can I put in a plug in this interview? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> so um, there is a company called The Art of Prayer. So theartofprayer.net. They actually um, do home decor and stuff. And they have taken, um, they have a line called the Un Unwinds Merch line. It's all from my book. Oh. So and my art from my book and hang it up in your home or your office. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I know myself, I, I do not consider myself an artist in any way yeah. whatsoever. I illustrated a few children's books, but I would say, you know, outside of my writing, you know, my passion is baking and I don't get to bake enough. <laughs> oh, I love baked goods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I am like so excited to, you know, meet you and learn about you know, what you're currently working on, the book that you have already put out this devotional. I'm very excited about, you know, your other devotional that you're working on. And so why don't you tell the viewers where they can learn more about you if they want to connect? Sure. So um, my sweet husband, who's um, a little techie geek, you know, he, he owns it. I can call him that. Um, he uh, designed and put up my website um, as my mind unwinds.com. Um, so you can find me there or I'm on Instagram every day and my tag is uh, Jen's Mind and Wines. But um, at my website, you can find everything, links to where to buy my book, um, who endorsed it, all the fun stuff. It's all there. All right. And actually, there was one other question that I wanted to ask. Sure. You know, life happens. <laughs> um, but um, it seems like, you know, you, you've been in the ministry for a while, but maybe the writing is fairly new to you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for any aspiring writers? Just trust the process. Um, it's a scary thing putting out a book. Um, I mean, a blog is like whatever, like who's, you know, especially for everybody blogs, it's like, who's going to see it necessarily right? Unless you just happen to make it big, but you put a book out there and somehow it gets read faster and easier. And it's a very scary thing. Yeah. Uh, but you just got to trust God and trust the process. Just keep taking it one day at a time, one step at a time and just do it. And then just trust him. Just see what happens. <laughs> I, want, I love that. For everyone to read now. <laughs> that, that's, that's wonderful. I really love that. So yeah. I want to thank you so much for sharing with us today. And mm -hmm. Um, I hope I get to, you know, interview you again down the road. And Oh, it would be fun. I think you're a delight. You're very full of life and just a joy. Thank you. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Internet. That's all I have for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.